jamming out to his favorite band is therapy for Jake Aiken. Everything. It takes his mind off the troubles you'd have no idea he even had by simply looking at him. All of a sudden, I got this virus. It attacked my heart. And I was 30 days later, I was in the hospital, and they were saying, your heart's failing. July 2014 is when Aiken learned he would need a new heart. Since then, he moved to Portland to be closer to OHSU, home to the only heart transplant program in the entire state. Turns out the move paid off. Aiken says he jumped to the top of the heart transplant list. They kept telling me, you're next, it's going to be good, everything's great. It was great until this past weekend. Aiken's phone rang. It was a member of the OHSU heart transplant team he has grown to love. And they just said, I'm sorry. We don't know what to do. We don't have the personnel in, in place. We can't support the program. OHSU's heart transplant program has been suspended due to inadequate staffing. We're told one specialist has left and two others plan to leave. This means no new patients and no transplant surgeries for at least two weeks. I'm pretty disappointed in the way that all this has happened and what a surprise it was. Aiken does not believe the program will be back up and running in 14 days, like hospital officials say. So he's looking into other options. I have to look for another program. I have to make the plans as if, hey, this is gonna be six months or a year. Aiken has no other choice. He needs a heart. The pump he currently has is only good for so long. I need a solution to long term. All right, hospital officials declined to go on camera, but they did release a statement. In part, it says, OHSU cares deeply about our patients and families. This difficult decision was made to maintain OHSU's commitment to excellent care for patients at all stages of transplantation. We know this situation is deeply unsettling to our patients and their families, and our clinicians and patient relations staff are working closely with them to ensure questions are answered and concerns addressed. Now back out here live, OHSU officials aren't ruling out the possibility that this suspension will last longer than two weeks. If that is the case, patients and their families will be the first to know and will, of course, keep you updated. Chris, back to you. Well, deeply unsettling. Seems like an understatement. All right, Mike, thank you for that.